Hey guys, this is App Review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Tray 3 1 iPhone 4 case from Brent Haven. And this case does retail for $34.95. And it's a pretty functional case. And it comes in nine different colors. And within those colors, you have three different variations. Let's take it out of the packaging. The first variation is the actual plastic case. So it does come in just a straight up plastic, it's a matte plastic. And that comes in about six different colors. The second variation is the one we have right here, which is actually wood. It comes in bamboo, the one we have right here, and it comes in redwood, which is just a red uh, colored wood. And then the third variation is a carbon fiber look, so it's actually plastic with a carbon fiber backing on it, which feels pretty nice. And so, like I said, this case does retail for $34.95, and it offers three different angles or three different ways to use it. Number one, it offers a hard shell for drop protection, so it's basically just a case you put on your phone. Number three, it has a little notch right on the back of the case to allow you to use your phone in portrait mode. So it offers a vertical view for FaceTime chats. And the last one is has another notch on the front, actually two, one on the left and one on the right hand side. And that gives you a nice angle to view movies in landscape mode. So let's take a look at the case right now. Protection wise, the case is pretty decent. Um, I'm not a big fan of the wood model because it does tend to chip a little bit. It's not as exact cut out as the plastic would be because it is wood. But overall, I think for protection, it's pretty decent. If this were to drop from a significant fall, I'm pretty sure the case would break, but it would absorb, it would absorb all the impact. So um, you probably have to look for another case, but it would do its job as a case. So installation on this is pretty simple. I like to go in button side first, just snap it on. It fits pretty nicely, it's a nice tight fit. As you can see though, it does bubble up my screen protector, which I'm not a big fan of. So let's just take a look at all the ports and all the cutouts, and then we'll take a look at the functionality of the case. So on the front, you do have a nice lip. It's not a rounded lip, it's just you have four ridges right up here, which elevate it off the table. At the bottom, you do have one large U cutout for the 30 pin dock connector, the speaker, and the microphone. Top, another U shaped cutout for the power on and off, the secondary microphone, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now, I'm not a big fan of these cutouts right here. I'm, I mean, I know that you need to use that in order to use the iPhone functionally. You need those cutouts to actually hold it in place, but it just doesn't seem as though it provides a lot of protection when it's missing that part of wood. And same goes here on the back. Now you do have the Brent Haven logo right down there, and I, like I said, I'm not a big fan of the wood, but it does offer a nice feel, a nice finish on it, and it does tend to, um, to chip off a little bit, but it does not scratch, which is nice. Lastly, you have one large cutout for your volume up and down and your vibrate switch and this does work with the Verizon iPhone so if you want to pick up a case for it then you should check out this one so let's take the iPhone off you just gotta prick it off with the uh, from the opposite side not where the volume buttons are on and the first angle like I said is the FaceTime viewing angle so right on this notch is where you're gonna place your iPhone just like that and you have a nice angle to view FaceTime. So one thing to know is it does cover up the home button. So what you're going to want to do is you want to initiate your FaceTime chat first and then you want to place it here because you have no access to it. So you're going to want to turn on your phone and do everything there and then just place it in there. You do have a nice stable angle as you can see. This does work pretty nicely. You can go on a Safari and do whatever you need to if you want. Now the second angle is one that I've been using most. Um, I've actually taken about four flights in the past couple of weeks so when I'm on the plane um, I've always looked for something just like this. Unfortunately I did not have the case back then. So as you can see you do have some notches right here on both sides and what you do here is you just place your phone right there and you have a nice movie mode. So in this case you do have access to all the buttons and everything on your phone and because of the soft bamboo on the back this actually um, kind of rubberized so it keeps it in place real nicely and so you can just put your phone on there and watch a movie the whole plane and you do have that nice slanted viewing angle so it's not very upright so overall guys what are my thoughts on this case I think as a case it can be better protection wise it's, it's pretty decent it's not great but the reason why you're going to want to buy this case is because of the added functionality this is the kind of case that I would use during an airplane ride and I would have a secondary case such as a candy show which I would put on after the airplane. So at $34.95 I do think it's a little expensive 
but if you're willing to pay that price, you're, you're not going to be disappointed with the added functionality of the case and being able to carry something that both protects your phone and gives you a chance to FaceTime chat and to watch movies. So, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and stay tuned for more. Remember to check, out, check us out at www.buymeaniphone.com. Thanks for your support, guys. Stay tuned for more.